just had a new moon in Scorpio, which was to herald this new female masculine thing. And I don't take what astrology says on face value. It's the experience of it that really brings it home and shows the cosmic truth in it. In February, we are going to have a Venus Mars conjunction. And I don't know if you remember, there was the great conjunction a couple years ago. Big, big things happened. This one is the masculine feminine and the new moon has already started this happening. The, I just can tell it with myself. I feel almost weirdly sadder. I'm, I'm a Sagittarius, so I'm a fire sign. So I come at things manly, you know what I mean? And I was raised by a very manly father. And even my mother used to try to keep up with him instead of, and I was raised very manly. And I've acted very strong and very dominant, very, like I was the boss in our relationship. But the tables are turning and it's in a beautiful way where I'm noticing that my husband is taking charge more, but in a nice and natural way and in a beautiful way, not an overly dominant way. And he doesn't even know about this stuff. So this is watching it happen in a natural way and feeling it. Like I feel weirdly sadder all the time, but it's in like a beautiful way. Like they, it's reminding me of the last conjunction where things are surpassing the norm, even in my own magical life. Like I live a very magical life. So if I'm going, wow, that's magical, this magical. <laughs> like, are we actually going to see real magic in our lives? Like for real, not David Copperfield level stuff, but tangible shifts are already happening. And, and this is just to show you like, wow, because I want to see the ascension in my lifetime and not as a little old lady. I wanna start seeing it now. I want my kids to step into their adulthood already in an ascended world. I'm raising them to be spiritual healers and something in this growing spiritual field. We need to invent new things. And it's so nice to know because I have a daughter that she's not gonna be forced to go into this nine to five, don't have children, or if you do drop them off at daycare kind of world. Because it's funny, I said I was very dominant and kind of, you know, masculine in a way, but I still saw the complete validity of raising your own children and being the mother, like that I always had, the mother to your children. Like, children need a mother. <laughs> and they don't need to be thrown into daycare. And this world, especially with inflation, is forcing couples where the woman has to work. And I'm not saying like, don't get in the kitchen. I'm not a housewife. Go clean the house. No, thank you. You know what I mean? Like, that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about mothers raising their children. It's not about being the dutiful little wife. It's about being a sacred mother. So these energies can hopefully start awakening people to that fact, to that birthing back of the sacred mother. And here's the vision I got when I was meditating today that was just like, wow, because I was already feeling these things. And I saw the sun is the divine masculine. It provides for the earth, the divine feminine. So the earth is meant to receive. Ladies, stop paying for dinner, okay? Stop it. I was one of them. When my husband first started, when we got together and he insisted on paying for stuff, I was offended. And I was like, I didn't pay for my own stuff. You know, I was one of those. And I worked, worked, worked myself until I had children. And that's when I was like, boom. But even if you don't have children, women, we're not nine to fivers, okay? And even men, like the divine masculine, the nine to five thing doesn't even need to go for them. But men are the providers. The divine masculine is the provider. And you're, I mean genders, possibly getting fluid with the new generation. I don't know if it's that or the food. So I don't want to even discuss that because you should see what the food can do to people. It's loaded with estrogen. So be careful because that's not coming from spirit. But at the same time, we can all have the masculine and feminine inside of us. So we do want that to interplay together. However, the body we are born in is the mission we are given in this life. If you want to be a boy or a girl, you'll get to do it next time. Like you get your choice. Plus 
we swing back and forth. So you're, if you're finding yourself on a, a non-binary position, it's probably because you're about to switch to be a girl next time or you're about to switch to be a boy next time or it's the food. So be careful. Before you do anything drastic, change your diet. It's, it's paramount. It's, they're doing it on purpose. And switch your food and you'll see the difference. Because even things like birth control that I used to be on helped bring out that masculine side in me because it tricks women into being dominant, into that's how we can do that nine to five life. And then the second you off go off birth control, which obviously I did to my children, oh my God, did that send me on a tailspin of like, who am I? Because I've been on it since I was a teenager and we didn't have kids until I was almost 30. So like, think about it. I was now not even knowing who I was because as I went on that in my late teens, I thought the switch to the masculine was a growing up thing. I was going off college uh, and, and, and it was time to be an adult. I'm becoming more firm in myself because of that. But it turns out, no, it was birth control. And then you spend many, many years in almost mental illness as it comes off, like as it wears off another thing they do to us on purpose now I don't I do believe in birth control and like we don't need to be having 12 children because that's no way to live a life and that's not even fair to the children because I wanted to have more children and everyone's like is that fair to the children especially with my one boy being autistic is that fair to them because they need mommy's attention right how much can attention can mommy give because I want more but that's another subject because we want our kids to have the attention they need and we need that divine feminine essence so don't go back on birth control if you have children i've heard of people doing that i never did it because once i saw the difference i was like oh my god what was i doing to myself but these are the things they do to us and but we're waking up divine masculine and feminine coming together provider son hello men please remember you are the light of the world you are incredibly powerful in this world we females get to be incredibly powerful with the children, with a nurturing aspect and in the spiritual world. So your female is going to be the one protecting you in the astral realms. This is why happy wife, happy life. She's going to keep you spiritually safe. But you, the men, need to be keeping us physically safe and providing money. Now, if the woman wants to, I'm giving life on less, and don't tell me what to do with my life. But like, if we're trying to find our way back into a natural role, then women make money if you want. I like money's great, but if the pressure of I have to provide for my family, I have to provide for my family. That's something a woman is not meant to deal with because we are more scared of dying we are more look at me we're more capable of dying a guy can come up and we just go Poof, and i'm dead like that like how tough can we really be because they are meant to be more strong in the physical world but trust me ladies we are more strong in the mental world so if i survived that punch i could be like and he's done not that we should do that because that's evil but he shouldn't have punched me either you know what i'm saying but we're going into let's how can we work together how can this beautiful you're stronger but I'm more nurturing. How can we come together in a modern day? I'm not saying let's go back to the 50s because those were gross times. We need to invent this in a new way. Like we're still partners. Men are not better than us. We're still partners, but they need to provide the monetary value in this life until we continue to switch over into a more not monetary value world We'll see how that's gonna play out. Some people say it's not gonna happen at all. I'm not even gonna discuss the dark ones because I'm not going to a dark territory, okay? I'm not going. If you ever see me post stuff on my Instagram, I'll post other people's videos only to warn people because you should put it in your head and know about it, but then erase it and say that's not happening for me though because ostriching and putting our head in the sand doesn't help anything. You need to actually know about it. Send it to God, almost like an, an energetic email. Be like, God, did you know this was happening? And then let it be, let it go, give it to God in God's hands, their divine source, whoever you want to call it. Your God mind is inside you, here, here, and in your guts. I say it all the time and it's very true. So send it to God and then just focus on you. And right now, probably up until February, and then I, something huge is going to happen. It's going to get even better. That divine masculine and feminine inside ourselves, not just with our partners, but inside ourselves. We're becoming more balanced. We're becoming us the real us the real and true us so good luck being you 
I know you can do it. I believe in you. Goodbye for now. Spirit Mom.